everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have watched my videos before. 2019 has been proving to be a great year so far, but I've been super busy, but I mean busy with good things, so happy about it. Uh, I've worked on three collabs already that I'm super excited about. Follow me on social media because I will make announcements on my Instagram and Twitter. So if you follow me on there, you will know what other projects I'm involved in when they come out. So with all of that, I have not had a lot of time to do my normal warm-up and fundamentals routines. I've had to abridge a lot of it. But I figure I'm not the only one in that boat. I'm sure a lot of people are busy and there are a lot of days when musicians around the world have to do a quick warm-up and then just move on and get down to work. So today I'm going to show you what I have been doing in 2019, what has become my quick three five minute warm up and hopefully this will prove useful to you. I'm going to edit this video so that you can play along with me. So feel free to join me if you have your mouthpiece and horn on you. I always start with buzzing. If you've seen my other how-to technique videos, you'll probably know that buzzing is my go-to. I stink and love it, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry, you don't have to do this. But when I don't have a lot of time, I do mouthpiece buzzing, and I do it throughout the range rather quickly. I either find the pitch on a piano, or in this case, I have just like a little keyboard app on my phone. You can download that for free, and I find RG, which is concert C. And once I find that, I take my mouthpiece and I do octaves where I find that note, I buzz up the octave, back down to the middle, down to the lower octave, and then back up. And I go up chromatically doing that until I feel pretty warmed up. If you're uncomfortable guessing pitches or moving up chromatically after this, you can always check with your keyboard. I'm not for the sake of brevity. I'm literally treating this like a... I got two minutes, let's go. So you can play along with me, or if you want to do this by yourself, you can check for each pitch as you go. I do that sometimes too. time you have you can do less you can do more you can go up more if you want you can go down even a second octave if you want do with it what you will the next thing that I do I think it's from the Toyber book t-e-u-b-e-r if I remember correctly but they're just descending scales I start at G in the treble clef staff and then I just slur down and I descend in whatever pattern or rhythm you want to do it in, as long as you're slurring and you're focusing on relaxing and making things easy. After I finish the G scale descending, then you start at A flat in the staff and you play your A flat scale descending, and then A natural, and then B flat, and so on and so forth. You can play this down as many octaves as you can, whether that be one or two, or when we get high enough, three octaves. Do whatever you're comfortable with. The whole point of this is warming up quickly and efficiently, and we're trying to move through the range. So if you're playing along, you can play as many octaves as you can and then just drop out and join me for the next one. So let's get started. that I add the third octave. When I start playing C in the staff, I add the third octave. So play that if you want, and if you don't, that's cool, you just chill. Alright, I will 
will stop there for now because I want this video to be as short as possible and I know I talk a lot and ugh, sorry. So you can do more or less of what I just did. I normally like to at least hit high C's and buzzing and on my horn so I will keep doing that scale exercise until I start on the high C and move down. I do these warm ups right now because I find that it is most important to wake up my range and I need to wake up my notes and all registers of the horn before I get started for the day. That is why I pick the exercises that I do. If you feel like you need that similar kind of stuff, feel free to do more or less of this. You can change it up however you see fit that is best for your playing. I think I'm going to update this every now and then too. Like a lot of things in life, I find that we slowly develop new routines or change and then when we look back in time it's completely different than what it was. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. Also let me know if you liked this video. Comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe to my channel. Your support means everything to me. You guys are the greatest with all that you've done for me in 2018 and I cannot wait to make more of these kinds of videos in the year to come. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Happy practicing, you know, have fun warming up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!